Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the PyCAD Tracer activity, a troubleshooting ethor channel. Here we can see our objectives of this PyCAD Tracer activity. In part 1, examine the physical layer and to correct switch port mode issues. In part 2, identify and to correct port channel assignment issues. In part 3, identify and to correct port channel protocol issues. Coming to background, four switches were recently configured by a junior technician. Users are complaining that the network is running slow and would like you to investigate. Right. So coming to part one, examine the physical layer and correct switch port mode issues. So in that step one, uh, look for access ports. Examine the switches. When physical ports are assigned to an ether channel port, they behave as one. So each pair will uh, either be operational or down. They will not be mixed with one port green and the other port orange. Coming to the topology, uh, here we can see uh, one port is uh, in uh, green and another one is in orange. That means one port is uh, operational and another one is down. Yes, here uh, clearly mentioned when uh, physical ports are assigned to another channel port, they behave as one. But it uh, here we can see it does not work as one. Now we will come to uh, step two. Set ports to trunking mode. Verify that all physical ports in the topology are set to trunking. Correct any that are in access mode. Right. On S2 here we can see the interfaces first 3rd 0 slash 23 and uh, 0 slash 24. Also here we can see gigabit 3rd and 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 uh, should be uh, in a trunking mode. We will verify on S2. Enable show running config. Here we are going to check that. Here we can see the interface 21 and uh, uh, 22. Also here we can see 23, 24. Uh, all are in a switch port mode access right coming to the gigabit third 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 here we can see they are in switch port mode access so we must change it to mode as trunk coming to the configuration we have to go to configure terminal and now we will go to the interface or range of interface fast, fast ethernet uh, 0 slash uh, 21 till 24 and we will set the switch port mode as a trunk and now we will go to the interface range, range of interfaces so gigabit ethernet 0 slash uh, 1 till 2 and we will give a switch port mode as a trunk now we will come to b correct any ethno channel ports that are not set to trunking mode okay right so we will check it on s1 Enable show running config and here itself we can verify that. Here we can see interface port channel 1 is not set to uh, trunk but we can see this uh, port channel 3, uh, 5 are set to switch port mode trunk. So we have to uh, make this uh, port channel 1 as a trunk. Coming to uh, S2. enable show running config and here we can see the channel port channel 2 3 and 6 we must set as uh, the mode as a trunk right coming to the configuration on is1 right configure a terminal we have to go to the interface port channel 1 here we are going to make the switch port mode as a trunk and now we will go to S2. Here we are going to give the interface. We have to go to configure terminal and uh, interface port channel 2. Switch port mode as a trunk. Now we have to go to the interface port channel 3 and switch port mode as a trunk. Now we have to go to the interface port channel 6 and the switch port mode as trunk. 
Now we will come to uh, part 2 identify and correct port channel assignment issues. That step 1 examine port channel assignments. The topology illustrates the physical ports and their ethos channel assignments. Verify that the switches are configured as indicated. Right. We will check it on S1, CLI. Right. Here we are going to give a show ethos channel summary. And here we can see the details, right? Coming to S2, CLI. Show ether channel summary. Yes, it's correct. Coming to S3. Show ether channel summary. Yes, here we can see that. Coming to switch 4, enable show ether channel summary, yes here we can see that, LACP, LACP, oh here we can see the fifth one, port channel 5, so the, uh, this port channel 5 we, should, uh, we have to uh, assign it to the correct ether channel port. Now we will come to uh, step 2, correct port channel assignments, correct any switch ports that are not assigned to the correct ether channel port. Yes, just now we have seen on uh, S4, uh, here we can see that, uh, the topology itself here we can see these two ports, that is a faster thread 0 slash 23 and 0 slash 24, uh, you can see it's a port channel 4, here we can see faster thread 0 slash 21 and 22. Uh, is uh, port channel 5 but here we can see uh, all these four interfaces given to uh, to the uh, port channel 4 so we will uh, configure that now we will uh, change it so configure terminal we have to go to the interface range faster third 0 slash 21 till 22 so we will uh, make the channel group 5 modus active yes now we will come to uh, part 3 identify and to correct port channel protocol issues so step 1 identify protocol issues uh, in 2000 the IEEE released 802.3 AD that is LACP which is an open standard version of a third channel for a compatibility reasons, the network design team chose to use LACP across the network. All ports that participate in a third channel needs to actively negotiate the link as LACP, right? As opposed to PAGP. Verify that the physical ports are configured as indicated. We will verify on a S1, CLI, right? Here we are going to give a show a third channel summary. And here we can see everything is in LACP. Coming to S2, CLI. Here itself we can see LACP, right. Coming to S3. Oh, here we can see everything in the PAGP. So we must change this uh, port channel protocol, right. Coming to S4. Here we can see it's not LACP. So we, we must uh, change in S3 only, right? Now we will come to uh, step 2, correct protocol issues. Correct any switch port that are not negotiating using LACP, right? So we will uh, do that on S3. We have seen that S3 is using PAGP protocol. So we are going to change that. Configure terminal. We will can come to the interface range gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 hyphen 2 and here we are going to give a no channel group right now we will give channel group 1 modus active right next is we have to go to the interface or range fast ethernet 0 slash 21 till 22 and here we are going to give a no channel group and we will set the channel group 6 
modus active. Finally, we will come to the interface range first third zero slash 23 till 24. No channel group and channel group for mode active. Yes. Yes, so that's all in this packet tracer activity. Here we can see the completion status, 100 out of 100. So in this uh, uh, packet tracer activity, we troubleshooted a third channel. Friends, if you have any doubt, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into our Gmail. Thank you.